Uh, and so last but not least, uh, Roy Eliao from Salt Security. Five minutes, go. APIs are everywhere, with the estimated size of $2.2 trillion today. As a matter of a fact, almost every company here in the audience exposes API with their customer data. But the way we built and architect our application has completely changed in the last few years. And with new technologies came new threats. In the past, this was the typical architecture for traditional web app. You had a client sends a request, uh, to the server, the server render a complete HTML page with the data embedded in it, return it back to the client, and display it. And then you had the common attack methods like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, RFI, that led to the development of products like Web Application Firewall, RASP, um, you know, code scanners, et cetera, to mitigate most of those risks. Today, the world is uh, transformed into something that looks more like this. You have different clients for mobile apps web applications are now single-page applications. You have IoT devices all communicating using REST APIs. And if you look at the past attack method, most of them became non-relevant, nor prevalent as before, because of two main reasons. The first one is that a lot of these technologies became obsolete, like PHP for applications or for your web app. So that's why the attacks became obsolete as well. The second thing that you had now uh, ORMs and modern application frameworks that uh, are now protecting seamlessly against most uh, SQL injection and code injection attacks. In fact, in over 90% of our POCs, we see uh, critical data exfiltration companies, uh, vulnerabilities, and uh, critical account takeover uh, vulnerabilities as well that would bypass any traditional security solutions today. That's exactly the reason why the biggest brands have been breached in the last year through API vulnerabilities. If you review case by case, you will see that each of them was using the new attack methods. Facebook is a great example. They are now facing up to $1.6 billion in fine because of their API breach. Um, and you can see that today's solution will not protect you against those threats. They're only looking for known attack patterns. And they're not granular enough to understand the uniqueness of every API behavior. It's not a coincidence that OWASP is about to release a completely uh, new top 10 threats for the API security project. So let me walk you through a common scenario of an API breach. You have John, a super experienced developer at Acme, was requested to add a user profile page as a new feature to their web app. So he codes the following API logic to request a specific user data uh, and add a user profile page. Meanwhile, the attacker looking for vulnerable spots notices John's new feature and begins to manipulate the logic. So he removed the user ID field, so instead of filtering one user, boom, all user data of all Acme customers are exposed. And the next thing you know, you are in the news. So let me walk you through the exact same scenario if Acme uses salt. So the minute the John new feature is out, the security team becomes aware there is a new API with PII that they need to review. Our discovery module eliminates blind spots and provides granular visibility to your API environment. As soon as the attackers start to pop the API for vulnerabilities, our prevention module will detect it in the very first attempts. We are the only patent technology for identifying and prevent API attacks specifically. We leverage big data and AI to establish a very granular baseline of the legitimate behavior of the API, and then we detect all the abnormal and malicious activities. We correlate it to specific user to determine if the user is just behaving abnormal or it's real attackers and then take action. And lastly, to close the loop, Salt bridge the gap between security and development by providing to developer actionable remediation insights about what is vulnerable and how they can fix it quickly. And the best part, there is no manual configuration and no proxy deployment. And if you think about it, we turn the attackers to your own penetration testers. Our team has a deep background in the cybersecurity industry, all of these scale companies from zero to over $100 million in revenues. Our R&D think like attackers because we are excellent of the cybersecurity units of the IDF and already built enterprise-grade products from scratch. So in conclusion, APIs are everywhere and API attacks are happening now. Don't wait and just uh, add some salt to your security stack. Thank you. Thank you.